All right, so this is uh, the rig I'm using uh, for New Hope. Um, just to talk a little bit about the rig in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'm basically using the two keyboards here. The main keyboard that I use as a as a piano player. This is my main my main keyboard. It's the Roland RD 700, and I've got it set up with four layered sounds typically, and I use a, a piano sound, an electric piano, and then I layer in a pad and a string <clears> sound, and I can mix those in. Those are across the yeah. keyboard. Absolutely. But that's typically what I'll, I'll use throughout an entire set, and then I'll just mix mix the, the different, the four layers in and out. That's my primary uh, live instrument. The top instrument, uh, this is a, a, an M-Audio Axiom 61. It's just a controller, but... Uh, yeah, the reason why I like this is because it's got all of these controls. Mm -hmm. And then on the far yeah, side, I've got a set of, set of pads here that I have set up to, to trigger main stage, which we'll look at next year. But th this keyboard I use mainly for just pads right now. I'm still kind of breaking it in and working it into the rig. But, uh, um, and then I also use it to, to, to run main stage, run the main stage tracks. So, uh, I'll show you the I'll show you the rack next here. Um, this is this this rack I've been I've been using this rack for in this configuration for about eight years now, and I've been using it in the, in the orchestra pits of musical theater um, set setups that I do. Uh, but what it is basically is. This is a, a MIDI yeah, inter, uh, okay, interface so uh, that I can hook up to, up to five instruments that, into this. There, Any external synthesizers or rack modules or, or controllers or whatever. It's not fired up right now, but that's a Motu MicroLite. And then married with that is the Motu Ultralight Mark III. This is my main um, my main interface for the computer. This is where all the digital audio comes out of for both the tracks and all the virtual synthesizers and everything come out of this. And then I got these two bottom modules here. Uh, top one is a Roland Phantom XR, which has all those just 30 years of great Roland sounds. And the bottom one's a motif rack, and that's basically a motif in a, in a box. So uh, it's an older model there, but I, I really like the way the, the versatility of this rig and you see a bundle of cords and things on the, on the ground here. These are all the breakouts that I have, so I can, I can run stereo or mono, or I can break out into all, separate all the tracks out into stems, individual line outs and everything. So it's a, it's a pretty versatile rig. Um, and then all of this is basically controlled by main stage. This is what I'm using right now. What you're looking at is a is a custom uh, a custom layout that I built just to kind of match my rig here. We're running for this Sabbath. We're running six track or six songs with tracks. Actually, one of them doesn't have a track, but we're running. There's a set list on the on the far on the far left. There is is a set list, and then uh, inside of each inside of each song, next to that are the markers for that song. So uh, on the first song, say so, it shows uh, you know the progress through the song from the kind of count off to the intro, verse well, one, pre-chorus, like, etc., all the way through the song, yeah. and that'll so, step know, through as we so, play. Like that, that kind of then in this section up here, we got well, basically right, all the controls well. for the tracks. Uh, I'm never really going to get. I'm running a I'm running a separate so, uh, output for the click and the cues you know, that just goes to our avioms. The cue track I use for. For verbal cues in the in the middle of the song, it'll tell us the verse is coming up next, or the chorus, or it gives us a count off. Um, and then uh, then the then the primary track that I have running out to the house is the loop track, and that's just a mix down of everything that's not playing live. Okay, I have some of the other tracks on there uh, in case. I don't have a drummer <laughs> or a bass player or whatever. In this in this case, I only have one guitar player, and he's on electric guitar for this particular song. So we've got the acoustic guitar track enabled for this for this particular song. All right. The controls down here below that just kind of reflect the the uh, the axiom controls. So this this setup here, all these controls are basically replicated 
on the screen here across yeah, here. That? I, I, I set that up. So basically you can say I have this keyboard or do you have to be I, I actually had, I, I built this like, this uh, template yeah. myself, but it's it's super easy like to do because you, you yeah, pads here. yeah you, okay. and you can tell it, I, that's exactly what you do. I want eight pads and we'll just throw eight pads up in there. And then just beneath that, across the bottom of the of the screen layout, are two keyboards, and these basically reflect. Yeah, they just reflect these two keyboards. It shows the pedals and the volumes and the, the wheels. This is all main stage. So, so the way we got this set up, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll hit the play button on the on the on the Axiom over here, but it, you'll see that it'll start the start the track, and then you can see up in the upper right hand corner that's our tempo. And you'll see the, the thing start. So here's what it's going to do. Really start reading each other and like just playing. Because, you know, with certain. Now, what you didn't hear is the click, which is coming through the avions, but, but you can see it, it counts down through the. And now it's going to launch the verse. So a lot of times, I don't know if you saw it, but sometimes I do. Right now, it's just playing all the extra guitar stuff and some of the extra keyboard background stuff. So that's, I mean, that's how it works, and then we just go through, you know, song by song. So questions? How do you, so your M audio and your and your and roll comes comes in here, and then this this part sends it to the to the laptop. Yeah, the the the, the, the M audio takes its MIDI straight out to USB, so I actually have that run it straight into the computer. Okay. And then I don't have it hooked up right now, but the the Roland. Um, I actually have regular MIDI MIDI cables. Oh, okay. They come into into this unit here. They then get processed by main stage and then back out to, to run the other unit. That's what you're talking about, that buffering thing. Yeah, the latency can be a real problem if you're if you don't have a a, a fast uh, interface. Okay. If you're just coming off the headphone jack of your right. of your computer, it can be a real problem. This is where this this rig comes in. That's that's where this box in particular will eliminate that latency that you're talking about. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, that's the rig. I've been I've been messing with this at home for for about a year, and I've I've been using main stage, you know, and I've had just the one keyboard that I've been using every week. But this is the first time I've pressed this rig into action this way, and uh, we'll see how it works in the in the coming months. But it works, man. Yeah, but it works. It's good. So, thanks.